Hey guys, Barrett here with Spec of Tech. This here is the SVS PB3000 subwoofer. There is plenty of content on YouTube about this subwoofer, but I wasn't able to find anyone that did an in-depth comparison of the subwoofer in ported versus sealed mode. That is exactly what we are going to do today. We'll compare the measurements between the modes in my room. We'll compare some demos and I will give my thoughts on the differences. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the SVS lineup of subwoofers and that they offer ported and sealed versions of most of them. In this case, there is the ported PB3000 and the sealed SB3000. Something that doesn't get talked about as often is that the PB3000 comes with port bungs so that you can plug the ports. That, along with the SVS app and built-in DSP, can change the ported PB3000 into a sealed subwoofer. After plugging the ports, simply go to the SVS app and in the menu select port tuning and then select sealed mode. After doing this, it will change the performance of the subwoofer and that is exactly what we're going to show today. Before we cover the room EQ wizard measurements and discuss the differences, let's play some demos. For these demos, there was no room calibration activated and it was the LFE signal only to keep it strictly about the subwoofer. As with all sound demos on YouTube, remember that my recording equipment, my room and the device that you're listening on will greatly affect the sound so don't take this as an accurate depiction of what I'm hearing in my room. I hope those demos helped you understand the differences between the ported and sealed modes. To help visualize what I heard in my room and what I hope you could hear in those demos, let's have a look at the room EQ wizard measurements for my room. Keep in mind that these measurements are specific to my room and that includes the peaks and nulls. That is a result of the room, not the subwoofer. Here we are looking at the compression testing of the PB3000 in ported mode with the subwoofer in the front right corner of my room. You can see some obvious compression on the top green line. The orange line below it was compressing just a little, but for the most part it's linear. So so we'll use that as our max output in the ported mode. So here we're hitting 100 dB at 16 Hz and a peak of 109 dB at 32 Hz. Now let's have a look at the results when switching to the subwoofer in sealed mode. You can see that the top line was hitting compression, but it is somewhat linear from 16 Hz and up, give or take a dB here and there, but we will use that as our max output line for the sealed mode. As you can see, it extends much further into the lower octaves than the ported mode. 
we are at 97 db at 16 hertz and sealed but we were at 100 db in ported if you look down at 8 hertz though we are at 99.5 db in sealed mode and 0 db in ported mode the peak spl in sealed mode is at 32 hertz just like in ported mode but it could only manage 104.4 db versus the 109 db in ported mode just for comparison's sake here's what they look like at the exact same volume of negative 24 on my avm 90 below 38 hertz the ported mode starts to have more output and at its biggest gap the ported mode has about 7 db more at 23 hertz the lines meet again at 15.5 hertz where the sealed mode shines and has a flat response down to about 6.7 hertz where the ported mode doesn't even measure so what we are looking at here is a boost in output from about 16 hertz to 38 hertz when in ported mode but much more low frequency extension when in sealed mode so now that we have heard it and we've seen the response graph let's talk about it i know that there will be some of you out there uh, wondering if one mode sounds better than the other and to be honest i didn't really notice an improvement in sound Sound quality per se but there is a perceived improvement in sound quality in one of the modes which we'll get to in just a second when it comes to sound quality SVS does provide good sound quality in its price range and that remains true for both sealed and ported modes here but that doesn't mean that you won't notice differences first of all in ported mode you will notice it excites the room noticeably more there is just much more shake to go around the room because it has more SPL on tap from 16 to 38 Hertz it does provide better dynamics in those frequency ranges so this will benefit you when watching movies or listening to music that has frequencies between that range if you love infrasonic bass the pb3000 can give you that in sealed mode but at the cost of peak spl across the frequency range in ported mode you are able to just get a little more spl across the range before heavy compression sets in and i can only imagine that is because a ported subwoofer is more efficient than a sealed subwoofer if you absolutely must have a flat response down to hertz in the single digits the pb3000 can and will provide that in sealed mode but if you want enough spl to pressurize your room I would recommend at least two of them to make up for that lack of peak SPL. And as I just mentioned, there is a perceived improvement in sound quality, and that happens when you push this subwoofer. Ported subwoofers are known to have some port noise when they are pushed. And I covered this in the review of the PB3000, which is linked in the top right hand corner of this video if you'd like to check that out. So yes, the PB3000 does have some port noise when pushed to high SPLs. This results in the bass sounding a little less clean at those levels because you are hearing air escaping and entering the ports. But in sealed mode, you don't have to worry about this. No, you don't get the higher levels of SPL as you would with the ported mode, but you gain some perceived bass clarity due to the elimination of port noise. So here are my recommendations. If you dislike port noise, but want the capabilities of higher SPLs once in a while, then run your PB3000 in sealed mode and only run it in ported mode when you want more peak SPL for demos or certain movies or that sort of thing. Or if you absolutely must have the PB3000 or you already do have the PB3000, but you want more low frequency extension, then run it in sealed mode and reach Hertz in the single digits, just like I did in my room. But if you don't mind some port noise during demanding LFE sequences, or if you want the maximum amount of shake and output, then leave it in ported mode and let the good times roll. It really does come down to your personal preference. There is no right or wrong answer here, and there doesn't really need to be one answer here because the PB3000 is versatile. And I think that's the main takeaway from this comparison is that the PB3000, along with all the other ported SVS subwoofers that can be changed into sealed mode do offer a level of versatility right out of the box that not many other subwoofers can compete with. As for me personally, I prefer the subwoofer in ported mode for that extra peak output and dynamics, but I want to know which you prefer. Do you prefer sealed or ported? Let us know down in the comments below. Consider subscribing, tick the bell icon if you do, and please take just one short second to hit that like button. I always do appreciate it guys. Remember to enjoy your systems. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.